Taliban says Panjshir is captured, resistance claims war not over, the Taliban said they are in control of Panjshir, and the resistance forces are hiding in valleys and caves. Five days after all districts of Panjshir and the provincial center were captured by the Taliban, a commander of the resistance front on Friday in a recorded video message said the Taliban's presence in Panjshir does not mean the end of the war, Saleh Rijistani, the commander, said they will continue fighting the Taliban forces, I am sure that the Mujahideen, the resistance forces and your sons will fight to the death to defend your values and honor, he said, right now, Panjshir is the center of resistance and the resistance forces are present in all the mountains, said Abdul Latif Pedram, the leader of the National Congress Party. Registani also said the people in Panjshir are facing hunger and a lack of medicine. The Taliban, however, said some of the opposition fighters had fled to the mountains, but talks were ongoing to convince them to return to normal life. Anamullah Samangani, a member of the Taliban's Cultural Commission, said Taliban forces have captured all parts of Panjshir and that the resistance forces are not there in any public way. They do not have a public presence, they are hidden in valleys and caves. Talks are ongoing with them, and we try to encourage them to come and lead peaceful and normal lives among their people, he said. Although reports indicate that both sides have agreed on a three-day unofficial ceasefire, neither side has confirmed the reports. Meanwhile, Iran's representative in the United Nations called the war in Panjshir fratricide. People do not have food. Children need power and people are living scattered in different areas, said Afsana Mohammadi, a Panjshir resident. Telecom services are completely cut in Panjshir and the lack of electricity is another big problem, said Abdulwaisi Almas, a local reporter from Panjshir. After the capture of Panjshir, a Taliban spokesperson said that Panjshir would have electricity and telecom services soon, and that roads would open.